Yellowstone National Park, a place of pristine beauty and untamed wilderness, was once home to a thriving wolf population. For centuries these apex predators roamed freely, their haunting howls echoing through the valleys. However, the arrival of European settlers in the 19th century marked a turning point for the wolves of Yellowstone. Driven by fear and misconception, early settlers and ranchers viewed wolves as a threat to their livestock and livelihoods. A systematic campaign of eradication began, aimed at eliminating wolves from the landscape. Through trapping, hunting, and poisoning, the wolf population in Yellowstone dwindled. By the 1920s, the last known pack of wolves had vanished from the park. Their absence left a void in the ecosystem, the consequences of which would reverberate for decades to come. Yellowstone, once teeming with life, began to experience a slow and unsettling transformation. The eradication of wolves from Yellowstone serves as a stark reminder of humanity's capacity to disrupt the delicate balance of nature. It is a cautionary tale that highlights the interconnectedness of all living things and the importance of preserving biodiversity. The disappearance of wolves from Yellowstone triggered a cascade of ecological consequences that rippled throughout the entire ecosystem. With their primary predator gone, elk populations no longer kept in check, exploded. Vast herds of elk roamed freely, their grazing habits transforming the landscape. Willow and aspen trees, crucial for stabilizing riverbanks and providing habitat for numerous species, were decimated by overgrazing. The once lush riparian areas, vital for beavers, songbirds and other wildlife, began to disappear. The loss of these keystone species had far-reaching effects on the entire ecosystem. The decline of beavers, known as ecosystem engineers, was particularly significant. Beaver dams, once common in Yellowstone's waterways, helped to regulate water flow, create wetlands, and enhance biodiversity. Without beavers, streams became more susceptible to erosion, and the overall health of the ecosystem suffered. The consequences of removing wolves from Yellowstone serve as a powerful reminder of the intricate web of life and the importance of apex predators in maintaining ecological balance. It highlights the need for a holistic approach to conservation that recognizes the interconnectedness of all species. In the early 1990s, a bold plan began to take shape, the reintroduction of wolves into Yellowstone National Park. The idea was met with a mix of excitement and apprehension. Proponents argued that restoring wolves would help to heal the imbalanced ecosystem. Opponents, primarily ranchers and some local communities, feared potential conflicts with livestock and human safety. After years of scientific study and public debate, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service captured 14 wolves from Canada and released them into Yellowstone in 1995 and 1996. This landmark event marked the beginning of a remarkable ecological experiment. The world watched with anticipation as the wolves adapted to their new home. Initial concerns about livestock depredation proved to be overstated. Wolves primarily preyed on elk as predicted, and their presence began to have a profound impact on the park's ecosystem. The return of wolves to Yellowstone marked a turning point in conservation history, demonstrating the potential for humans to right past wrongs and restore ecological balance. The success of the reintroduction program has inspired similar efforts around the world, offering hope for the recovery of endangered species and the restoration of degraded ecosystems. The reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone National Park ignited a chain reaction of ecological changes, demonstrating the profound impact of apex predators on their environment. As wolf packs established territories and began to hunt, the behavior of elk, their primary prey, shifted dramatically. Elk, once accustomed to grazing freely in open meadows and riparian areas, became more vigilant and avoided areas where they were vulnerable to wolf attacks. This ecology of fear had a cascading effect on the entire ecosystem. With reduced grazing pressure from elk, willow and aspen trees previously decimated began to regenerate. Riparian areas vital for a multitude of species started to recover, providing habitat for beavers, songbirds and other wildlife. The return of beavers with their dam-building activities further enhanced the ecosystem's recovery. Beaver dams created wetlands, improved water quality, and increased biodiversity. The entire landscape of Yellowstone began to transform, showcasing the remarkable resilience of nature. The reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone National Park 
had a profound impact on the elk population, leading to a decline in their numbers, but also triggering a remarkable comeback for this iconic species. As wolves preyed on elk, they primarily targeted the old, sick, or weak individuals, a natural process that helps to maintain a healthy prey population. While the overall number of elk decreased, the remaining elk became healthier and more resilient. With fewer elk to compete for resources, the average body condition of elk improved and their reproductive rates remained stable. The presence of wolves also altered the spatial distribution of elk within Yellowstone. Elk avoided areas where they were more vulnerable to wolf predation, such as open meadows and riparian areas. This shift in elk behavior allowed vegetation in these areas to recover, creating a more diverse and resilient ecosystem. The reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone demonstrates that predator-prey relationships are complex and dynamic. While wolves initially reduced elk numbers, their presence ultimately benefited the overall health and resilience of the elk population. Guardians of the Gallatin Protecting Wolves Beyond Park Borders The success of wolf reintroduction in Yellowstone National Park extends far beyond the park's boundaries. Wolves, being highly mobile animals, have dispersed into surrounding areas, including the Gallatin National Forest, where they face a different set of challenges. Outside the protected confines of Yellowstone, wolves must navigate a landscape fragmented by human development, including roads, livestock grazing allotments, and private lands. This fragmentation increases the potential for human-wildlife conflict, particularly with ranchers concerned about livestock depredation. Conservation organizations play a vital role in mitigating these conflicts by working with ranchers to implement non-lethal methods of livestock protection such as range riders, fladry, those colorful flags used to deter wolves, and livestock guard dogs. Public education and outreach are also essential for fostering coexistence between wolves and humans. Protecting wolves in the shared landscape surrounding Yellowstone requires collaboration among stakeholders, including federal and state agencies, ranchers, conservation groups, and the public. By working together, we can ensure the long-term survival of wolves and the ecological integrity of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. A Rancher's Perspective, Coexisting with Wolves The return of wolves to the Yellowstone region has brought about a mix of emotions for local ranchers. While some view wolves as a threat to their livelihood, others recognize the ecological benefits they bring and are open to finding ways to coexist. It hasn't been easy, admits John, a fourth-generation rancher in Montana. We've had to adapt our practices and learn to live with wolves again. John, like many ranchers, has implemented non-lethal deterrents to protect his cattle, such as range riders and fladry. The key is to find a balance, says Sarah, another rancher who has embraced coexistence strategies. We need to protect our livestock, but we also need to respect wolves as part of the ecosystem. Conservation organizations have played a crucial role in bridging the gap between ranchers and wolf advocates. By providing financial assistance for non-lethal deterrence and facilitating communication, these organizations are helping to foster a more harmonious relationship between ranchers and wolves. Yellowstone's Legacy – A Beacon of Hope for Wolves The reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone National Park stands as a testament to the power of conservation and a beacon of hope for the future of these iconic animals. The success of the program has not only restored ecological balance to Yellowstone, but has also inspired similar efforts worldwide. From the Rocky Mountains to the Alps, wolf populations are slowly recovering thanks to reintroduction programs, habitat restoration, and increased public awareness. These efforts are not without their challenges, but the Yellowstone model provides a roadmap for success. The lessons learned from Yellowstone highlight the importance of scientific research stakeholder collaboration and adaptive management in wildlife conservation. By embracing these principles, we can work towards a future where wolves once again thrive in their rightful place in the wild. Yellowstone's wolves serve as a reminder that even in the face of adversity, there is always hope for recovery. Their story is a testament to the resilience of nature and the power of human intervention to right past wrongs. The Future of the Pack Challenges and Opportunities As we look towards the future of wolves in Yellowstone and beyond, both challenges and opportunities lie ahead. Climate change, habitat fragmentation and human-wildlife conflict continue to pose threats to wolf populations worldwide. Rising temperatures and altered precipitation patterns are shifting ecosystems, potentially impacting prey availability 
and increasing the frequency of wildfires. Human development continues to encroach upon wolf habitat, leading to fragmentation and isolation of populations. Addressing these challenges requires a multifaceted approach that includes reducing greenhouse gas emissions, protecting and connecting habitat corridors, and promoting coexistence strategies between humans and wolves. Public education and outreach are crucial for fostering tolerance and appreciation for these often misunderstood animals. Despite the challenges, there is reason for optimism. The growing awareness of the ecological importance of wolves, coupled with the success of reintroduction programs, has generated momentum for their conservation. By working together, we can ensure that future generations have the opportunity to experience the awe-inspiring presence of wolves in the wild. The future of the pack depends on our collective commitment to conservation and our willingness to share the landscape with these intelligent and adaptable creatures. Yellowstone's wolves have shown us the path, now it is up to us to follow it.